Anthony Joshua vs Daniel Dubois. Now that fight certainly lived up to the hype. It was a great fight, back and forth, back and forth. Although Daniel Dubois from round one was always leading the fight, Joshua was always in the fight. But that fight to me was lost to Josh lost lost for Joshua based on his fundamentals. His fundamentals weren't there. From round one his chin was up in the air and he looked a bit lost. He looked like he didn't know where he was. He didn't want to be in the ring. He was just he just turned up one night and had a fight. His fight his eyes didn't look focused. A Daniel Dubois chin tucked in, sitting in his stance. Polar opposite to AJ, whose legs were straight, and he, he just it's very strange now. The AJ who boxed Klitschko, in my opinion, performed a lot better than the AJ last night. Did he underestimate Daniel Dubois, or is it what Dylan White said? Has he been waking up in silk bedsheets and silk boxes for too long, and he's not hungry, he's not doing the things he once was to perform and get ready to prepare for battle? Now, but for yourself. Mm -hmm. When are we going to see you back in the ring? Come on. You know what? I raided my house. I checked out my drawers. I burned everything silk in my house. You know, very hard to get up and train and be dedicated when you have silk stuff, man. And it, you know, your whole line, your whole underwear drawer is silk. So I burned everything. Now, you see round one. When Joshua was knocked down, Joshua's hands were by his waist. Why was an Olympic gold medalist, former world champion, top boxer, why were his hands randomly by his waist after he pivoted round. There should be no reason. These are fundamental mistakes that these are mistakes, sorry, in his fundamentals that a top level guy should never be making. We should never see a world champion, one of the greatest boxers of this generation, with his chin up in the air, hands down, and made to pay for it several times in a fight. Now after the first time it happened, of course his conscious mind he might not be there or he might not all be there because he's just been buzzed. But he seemed to recover from it and just make the same mistakes again. He was like beating his chest, sticking his tongue out. He just didn't seem like he was focused and I'm not sure why. In the opposite, the opposite corner, you see Danny Dubois, young boy, young guy, coming out there, boxing behind his jab, guard tight. Even when he was buzzed and he was taken back, he took back, took a few steps back, guard tight, looked for the opening, boom, and he ended up stopping Anthony Joshua with that right hand, I think it was the right hook. but. For me, moving forward for Anthony Joshua, I think he's got to look at his lifestyle, look at his camp, look at himself, and he's got to assess why am I going backwards? I'm not performing how I once were. I'm showing that I'm lacking the fundamentals that I once had, which is very strange. Joshua lost the fight for me, not because he can't beat Danny Dubois, but because he didn't seem... There was, there's something missing, whether it's in his preparation or in his mindset. He, it could actually just be a situation where he thinks he's better than he actually is, so he isn't preparing with the same diligence as a champion needs to. Like you see, Floyd Mayweather always says he fights, he trains like he's broke, because he's training, he's preparing as if he has everything to lose, and he he knows that he can't be, he can't slip up at all. And then the opposite, you might have someone like Joshua who's looking at Danny Dubois like, oh, young chap, yeah, young boy, let me go in there and just give you a couple of beats. And he ended up being the guy receiving the beatings because he wasn't focused. Now, you see round, I think it was round two, round three, Joshua's eyes started to like sit into it and he really started focusing like, yeah, I'm in the fight now. But that should have been from round one. From round one when he came out, he just, his eyes just looked. Like in, a, like in a glare, like he was just happy to be there. And he wasn't even ready for a fight. These are very alarming things to me, and I think these are things that Joshua needs to address. Everyone's saying Anthony Joshua should retire, and that's malarkey. As long as Anthony Joshua is healthy, he hasn't received any serious life-changing damage, why would he stop boxing when that's his career? He's got hundreds of millions of pounds left. I would watch a rematch with the, Daniel Dubois, and so were the people who are saying retire. He still hasn't fought Fury. He hasn't fought Wilder. He hasn't fought, sorry, Deontay Wilder. There's so many bouts that Joshua could, could yet have. So I wouldn't say that Anthony Joshua should retire. But I think he really needs to look at himself, look at his career and say, why am I not turning up ready to box? I'm a former world champion. I'm an Olympic gold medalist. Why is my chin up in the air?
And this is one thing that people need to realize. There's a difference between being stronger and faster than your opponent and being technically better than your opponent. Now we see guys like Floyd Mayweather, who's been boxing since he was a baby. His technique is on point. But not just that. He's fit, he's strong, and he's fast. Now, guys like Anthony Joshua, he started boxing in 2008. What this means is that he was not given enough time to really know his fundamentals. Joshua started in 2008. It hasn't been 20 years since he's been boxing. So you get guys like Usyk, guys like Danny Dubois, who started boxing at a very young age. They've actually been boxing for longer than him. Although they might not have, like Danny Dubois hasn't had the big fight experience, I would argue Danny Dubois has more boxing experience than I have from Joshua because he's actually been boxing for longer. He's had a longer time to keep his hands up. He's been he's made mistakes in camp more than Joshua has. So I mean as an amateur. So he's had more opportunities to correct himself and to perfect his game. And I think these are the things that are starting to show up in Anthony Joshua's career. He's boxing guys now who are just as physical as him or more physical as him. But they have this skill set that he wasn't able to develop. He wasn't able to Okay, look at this. Floyd Mayweather hit by Shane Mosley, rocked with his boots. Even when he's rocked, why did he know to clinch? Why did he know to stay tight? Because this is in his subconscious mind. This is so deep rooted into his skill set that he can't move away from it. Now you see guys like Anthony Joshua, it's more in his conscious mind than it is in his subconscious mind. He was hurt by Daniel Dubois and he's not. His first immediate thing wasn't the hold, he's like scrapping and he's looking all dangling, trying to punch back and it's like, what's happening here? Because a world championship, a lead level boxer, usually would have gone through the phase of, the phase in their earlier career where they really conditioned their mind with all of these, with all these skills. But for, but, sorry, Anthony Joshua, where he was so physical, he was able to win, not via skill set, but more so power more so speed, more so his physical attributes. So I think that's one thing that he has to really just sit down and drill, drill, drill. But as a multi-millionaire, do you really want to go to the gym and be doing basic, basic drills all day? And he says that he's not. He might be doing this, but I think he has to do it for a little longer. He has to go through, go through that phase of just making your subconscious mind be able to do the correct thing. When your conscious mind hasn't got the the time or to, to, to react, like when you're hurt. Really great bout last night, but it's funny. Daniel Dubois, he had a good fight with Usyk, but in the end, he did lose. He beat Joshua. But I don't think Daniel Dubois will beat Tyson Fury. That's my opinion. Even though he's so that he's a hungry, good guy, and if I'm being honest, he can beat Tyson Fury. There's a lot of ways that that he can be Tyson Fury, but I'm not sure if he does. I think the top two heavyweights, in my opinion, are still Usyk and Tyson Fury, but we'll have to see what happens next. That was a great fight last night, but again, Anthony Joshua, for me, lost his fight in his fundamentals. He lacked, he lacked the technical know-how. So all you amateur boxers out there, you need to drill, drill, and drill your offensive and your defensive techniques. In the comments, let me know what you thought about that fight. Did the fight happen how you thought it would? Did Joshua do better or worse? Did the bar do better or worse? Let me know. Let's get the conversation going.